Welcome back to another Doing It Dave. Today we've got a great video for you. We're going to do an install video of a, an adjustable screen in our Tesla Model Y. And we got that from uh, Tesla Mize. Uh, stick around, I'll show you the instructions. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over to the box here and we're going to do an unboxing. We'll show you everything that's in there. So as you can see, it's a really nice quality box. If you want to judge a product by its box, it comes in like this really nice sturdy box with the magnet on it. It gets you some instructions on different types of cover. So we're going to end up using this one here. Now we've got these spe little specific parts. So this goes over the back. So it covers up the entire bracket piece. Here's our swivel mounts. All right, so here's our cover. So we don't see all the wires. All right, we've got something with some 3M tape. Our temperature sensor cover. And then we've got these, uh, what looks like are some uh, bolts in here. So we'll make sure that we have those. Cool, so that's everything inside the box. So now what we're gonna do, if you need instructions outside of this, you can go to their website, teslamize.com. Otherwise, you just follow along with us. Quick review of the tools you're going to need. The first tool you're gonna wanna get is this little plastic pry bar. You're going to wanna get a Torx 25 screw bit. You're gonna want a standard screwdriver bit. You're also going to want an H5 hexagon bit. You'll also want to pick up a Torx 20 and also pick up a 10 millimeter socket bit. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your plastic pry bar and wedge it into that little hole. You'll notice that my temperature meter section might look a little different than yours. It's recently, as of June of 2021, been replaced with a new sensor and cover. We will remove that temperature meter here in a few minutes. I decided that it was going to be easier to go ahead and take our 10 millimeter socket wrench and go ahead and loosen those bolts on the monitor and get this piece of the uninstalling completed. Now it would be easier as you can see I've been hitting that temperature meter a lot to just remove it but you can do this without doing that. We'll get to that in a minute. All right, finally, we're going to remove our temperature meter. We're going to take our little pry bar and we're going to shove that into those little clips that are sticking out. And you'll notice that it just kind of releases pretty quick, especially when we hit this bottom one here. And there it is. This is what that new temperature meter looks like in the 2020 Model Y. Now time to remove the monitor. I have to admit this was the most uncomfortable I was in the whole installation and I kind of just yanked it nice and slow and then it popped right off. You know the most annoying part of this installation was in my 2020 Model Y that center console kept opening on me. Next, you're going to take that Torx 25 screw bit and you're going to pop out those two screws on each side of the bracket.
once you get those screws off then you're going to just pop that out of the way and then we're going to really start to work on removing the connection point so you're going to have to wiggle this little white plastic holder up and around the wire once you get it loose take your time here because if that breaks you're going to have to replace it you don't want to do that so just move it up out of the way and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a flat head and there's that little nub right there. So you're just going to press in on that and then you're going to take hold and you're just going to give it a little wiggle. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're pressing in. I'm going to grab firmly on both sides and just kind of wiggle that until it pops out of place. One of the most important parts, get yourself a protected flat place to put your monitor. You do not want to break that. All right, you've officially made the turn. We are now creating. You're going to get your bracket and set it right inside of the two holders. You're going to get your two bolts that you took out that originally held in the monitor. And you're going to screw those in through the holes and through the new bracket. Go ahead and get your 10 millimeter socket and give those a good tighten down. I prefer to slightly do some tightening on one side, then go to the other, and then the other. And once it's in, um, go ahead and give that a test turn. And then make sure that those are super wrenched down nice and tight so that that doesn't go anywhere. So you can see I'm giving it a nice test turn and that's actually got some movement still in there. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that that is super tight now and we can move on to the next step. All right, moving on to the next step. This is what is really the difference maker and it is this cover it this is really what makes this swivel bracket look so original uh, but you do have to fish it around our new mount and as you can see uh, especially my face i'm over here trying to shove that in there don't do what i did and try to do that without pulling the wires up through the hole first and once you get those fished through then what you're going to want to do is actually start by hooking it in at the bottom and then you can attach it at the top here. Now be really careful because those little teeth are the only thing holding that on. So just take your time, make sure you're working it in. It will fit nice and snug. Again, it looks like it's supposed to be there. And you will notice that I get those teeth hooked in except for this right side. Um, I actually mess around with it for a while and I just kind of move on um, and I eventually do come around to the other side and get that fully flush mounted. So it just took me a minute sitting in the driver's seat didn't allow me to fully see it until I got there. The next section here is just assembling the bracket on the back of the monitor. You're going to do that by using the two screws and your torque 25 wrench bit and just push that in and pretty simple section here. So the next section is pretty easy. We're just going to do the opposite of what we did to take the monitor off and that is put the monitor plug back in nice and slow you will hear a click and once that's in place go ahead and push that little white piece back down over the top and lock it into place moving into one of our last steps and that is reattaching the monitor again i was very nervous here because this is basically the car so um, I did have to fidget with this a few times taking it on and off trying to figure out how to align these holes but 
I did find that you do have to pull that monitor back off of the mount just a little bit just to get those holes to align and with a little bit of fidgeting you can see it goes right in as well I do want to point out off to the right you will notice that that bracket is still not flush just yet we will get to that here shortly but those bolts those are the brand new bolts in the box you're going to be using your hex hexagon uh, h5 uh, bit and screw those in I like to hand tighten mine just to make sure that they're in place and then once I got those in and hand tightened I do eventually get those tightened down as you can see I did hold the monitor in place just to give it so it didn't pop off on me and then I came back in and tightened those down all right this section here I'm really removing the the temperature sensor from the old mount I'm using a Torx T20 on this and I'm really just gonna unscrew this and then what we are going to do is mount that to the new piece and it took me a minute but it does fit perfectly all right to fit that in you're gonna take that little nub and it's going to be facing down and you're going to go ahead and plug in your meter. You can see that you don't have a lot of space here. So you're going to have to plug that in and then start with the bottom and work your way in. Again, go slow because the only thing holding that in are those little nubs. I did smash my finger right there. It does not feel good. All right, this next little piece is really just to continue to hide all of the wires behind the mount. I went in and tried to dry fit this and I honestly didn't really like the way that it was going to go in with our big monitor connecting cable so I decided to just put it right back in the box I ended up with this extra black piece I have no idea there's that piece we just had you've got this other temperature meter for model threes and then we have these three tiny little nuts which we didn't use all right, guys, listen, I've done some fun uh, and necessary upgrades to this Tesla, except for this is by far the best upgrade that I've done. And that is that adjustable screen. So I wanna show you now that that's installed here, I actually am going to tilt it and look at that. Look at that clearance. Oh, and look at how finished that looks. And it looks like it came right from Tesla, too. Uh, that looks phenomenal. Let me show you the other way. It does not touch. So if you were sitting in that seat or your passenger, they got a great view of that. And again, and it moves really nice, too. That thing is not moving anywhere if you're driving. But look at this. Super close now. So if I'm driving or if I'm sitting waiting to charge... I mean, that is that is a beautiful thing. I definitely think it's worth the money. Uh, if you guys learned something, uh, definitely appreciate you guys hitting that subscribe button, hitting the like, and uh, this is definitely worth the money. I love this upgrade. If you guys want one for yourselves, you can actually go ahead and go to teslamize.com. You can throw in the coupon code Doing It Dave, and you'll get yourself 5% off everything on the website. So, 